You know, they say Texas is like a whole other country. But in truth, it's like a whole bunch of other countries in one. And not just the terrain, but the people and culture too. So let's head down the street to find a taste of Eastern Europe here in East Texas at Brigitte's Hungarian Restaurant. These are the owners, Brigitte and Mike Chabayi. This looks like Hungarian hospitality right here. So what, what do we have? So you have uh, two different kinds of sausages and salamis. You have a uh, Hungarian with lots of paprika, as you can see, okay. the redness. Then we have some Hungarian salami, which is just delicious. It's Oh, gosh, yeah. Good. Mm. Oh, it's really good. So do you guys have to import this? Yes, it comes from Hungary, so you cannot find it here. As the only Hungarian restaurant in Texas, and one of the few in the country, Brigitte and Mike are sticklers when it comes to authentic flavors, especially when it comes to paprika. Paprika, that's our signature spice. But it has to be Hungarian paprika, so it's okay. very important. It's a deeper, richer color. Speaking of, I need to try this here. Oh, yes. Wait till you do. This is from Jula, and they have fist fights over who has the better one. It's got it going on. That, oh, goodness. I have to go. Why? Because my I have cabbage lasagna in the oven, and I saw... <laughs> Small businesses never stop. So while Mike's gone, tell, tell me about his mustache. I mean, are we on board with this mustache? Well, he always had a mustache. Okay. So we've seen him with that It is one. pretty magnificent. But I'm a is, fan of the mustache. It is the Hungarian way of, of making it this way. So it's kind of funny. Even the facial hair is authentic. Hungarians are proud people, and rightfully so. Some of history's most famous scientists and artists have come from Hungary. At one point, the country covered almost all of Eastern Europe until it was broken up after World War I, leaving Hungarians scattered under flags not their own. And, and they, they got still a speak deal. the language, they have their tradition, even though they live in a different country, but you know, they okay. really pay attention to that. Do they still consider country. themselves Hungarian? Oh, yes. oh you they bet. Are okay. Very proud Hungarian. Well, the time-tested way to maintain a culture is around the table, together with great food. What we cook frequently are the number one dishes in Hungary and everybody's receptive to it here. We have chicken paprikash with handmade noodles. We call no kedli. Germans call it spatzel. Okay, yep, yep. We have a pork dish called pork seke. It's named after the people in Eastern Hungary that are trapped in another country. And once the pork is just about finished, we smother it with cabbage okay. and then sauerkraut, and you get an interesting taste with a dollop of sour cream. Woo! Oh, it's got it going on. Time to taste it myself. I think this is actually the first time I've ever eaten Hungarian food. I'm glad I got a little bit of everything. And then that bright red color, authentic Hungarian paprika. Oh man, that is delicious. Tastes like just a delicious stewed country pork, which is like a tiniest bit of difference coming from the from coming from the cabbage. But we eat a lot of cabbage in Texas, so totally familiar. All right, so here is the one Hungarian dish I knew about: stuffed cabbage, which, as you see, is kind of like a, you know, a little cabbage egg roll. Dude, that's good. Something maybe like a stuffed bell pepper, but it's got a ton of the uh, Hungarian paprika in it. I'm serious, this is, this is awesome. And the fact that we found like an authentic Hungarian restaurant in Northeast Texas, it just proves that you never know what to expect in Texas small towns. If you liked this video, chances are you're gonna love another video that's somewhere right about here. Or you can visit thedaytripper.com. But above all, what I want you to do most, remember the Alamo. I'll see all y'all out on the road. Bye con Dios, amigos.